I like the thumbs up. Just the thumbs up. Okay. okay, I could do that. <laughs> this is recording. Here. Okay. And that one is ready to record. Okay, first things first. Let's practice using your controllers. To open a menu, press in on the thumbstick. Great! Now to select an item from your menu, point your controller at the menu. Well done! Now let's practice picking up objects. To let go of an object, simply release the grip trigger. Go ahead and let go of the drill. Looks like you've got the hang of this. Grab the drill and place it in your tool bucket. Okay, you are ready to go. Follow the prompts on the menu to continue. Okay, you... First things first, throw on your personal protective equipment. To access your equipment, press down on the thumbstick to open your tool menu. Now, place the item on your body. Great job! Keep going until you have put on all your initial PPE gear. done. Let's check out the job site. Looks like the work zone protection has been set up. Take a look around the work site. I've done this a thousand times. The best way to learn is to do it yourself. But I'll be here to help. Go ahead and get started. Is it safe? It's safe. Keep going. I tested the monitor, and it's working properly. Was gas detected? No alarm sounding. What's next? Some people call this thing a rack. Whatever you call it, place it near the manhole so you can quickly slide it into position once the manhole cover is removed. Let's get that manhole open. Be careful, that thing can weigh close to 300 pounds.
In this situation, this is the best direction to pull the manhole cover. It minimizes the risk of injury to yourself and others. Now, get that manhole guard in place before someone falls in. The center bar should face traffic and allow you to enter and exit the manhole facing traffic. You gonna look down there or what? Should I grab the imbiber beads? I checked out the local requirements on water removal for this area, and it is okay to pump the water into the gutter. This won't be the case at all locations. So we'll have to check every time. Prior to pumping out the manhole, we have to test inside the manhole for gas. Any gas detected? Here's the pump. I've already set the pump hose to drain into the gutter. Any gas detected? Grab the manhole shield and place it around the open manhole before someone gets injured. Place it around the open manhole. Yep, put it there. I'll pump it up. Place the blower in a safe area, and I'll turn it off. That's a good place to put the blower. It's away from the truck and traffic exhaust. The purge chart provides the mandatory minimum purge time. Never purge for less time than required. I'll go turn it on. There is usually a ladder in a manhole, and we always inspect it before going down. Does this one look safe? Grab the backup ladder and place it in the manhole. Place the ladder in the manhole. Before you head down, here is a Tyvek suit and some rubber boots. Manholes can be dirty, and this one is still a little wet. You're ready to go down. Remember, keep three points of contact. I'll stay up top and keep things secure up here. Just holler if you need me. Safety is just as important down in the manhole as it is above ground. Go ahead and start the safety setup down there, and I'll keep watch up here. I will keep an eye on the blower up here to make sure it doesn't get obstructed.
Test around the corners and duct openings for gas. No gas is detected, but we need to continue monitoring the air you breathe while in the manhole. I'll raise the gas monitor to face level. Now you have air circulating. You have tested for gas and voltage. Does that bar look safe enough to hold up the platform? When our work is done, let's be sure to take that with us so the next person to work down there doesn't get hurt. Looks like you forgot your tool up here. I will use the bucket to send it down. Staying out of the chimney area as best as you can is a good idea. When transferring tools using the bucket, a tool may fall out. Debris from the road may also fall down into the manhole. Glad to see you up here safely. What should we do next? We will have to purge the manhole again and retest for gas before to ensure the manhole is safe before anybody goes back down there. Yeah, that's pretty smooth. It's a lot easier when I have room to actually move around and stuff.